what's up guys so it's badass brown skin back with another video so um um at the um this video bitch is it's a it's a story time i have i have a fucking update i know i've been gone and m.i.a and shit but it is not it's not on purpose i a fucking promise hold on guys i'm backing up all right so um lately i've been spending a lot of time with my grandma and my grandma she stays in these apartment complexes okay she stays in a really nice apartment complex but a lot of the people that stay there have like different 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 backgrounds i never really gave a fuck i never really cared because my whole purpose in going here is to see my grandma like my whole purpose is my grandma like i don't give a fuck about nobody else here i never thought twice about them I should put some highlight on my nose. I'll be in my car, on the phone with my best friend, or in my car writing a song, or in the car making a video, fucking, you know, doing the reg, you know what I'm saying? Um, spending some kind of time to myself. And while I'm in her parking lot, and I spend it in my parking lot because when she comes downstairs, let me try to roll my window up. When she comes downstairs, um, she has to, sorry if my bun, why is it doing this? Like. If she comes downstairs, um, she has to, like, it's like, I have to give my ID, they check me in, and she has to open the door for me. So it's like, it's really like, restrict, it's really stricted there, okay? Period. It's really stricted. So, um, long story short, I, I take my time coming to my grandma's apartment because I don't want to run her up and down the steps for her to check me in, check me out, um, to see her. So I take my time coming up to see her. So I spend a lot of time in my car before I go up to our apartment to go spend some time where there's this guy i have a fucking stalker let me just fucking say that period and i'm not one to claim shit bitch i'm not one to be about that shit i don't i don't even fucking like bitch that don't even cross me like i haven't had no crazy shit like weird shit of that sort happened to me since i was a fucking child so it's like um so i have a fucking stalker and this guy's a fucking creep. Like, bitch, I'm, I mean, I just had another interaction with him. And I'm, I'm fucking over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and fucking get this story out. I already got a picture of his license plate. I already got a picture of his car. And bitch is fucking serious. Look, look, let me just tell the story. So, while I be parked, I be, you know what I'm saying, do what I do. There's this old man. So he parks, like, not directly behind me. But he parks directly behind me in a parking spot over um, in the parking lot. And I'm not talking like directly behind. You know how there's a space for cars to drive by, then there's the next set of parking lots, that uh, parking spaces, that's where he, he'll be at. So he wouldn't be directly behind my car, but he'll be behind it and a car over. So um, I didn't pay attention to it at first. He, his car was always, he always parked in that position behind me. Or maybe I always parked there. But bitch, even when I would park in a different spot, he was so fucking close. And it was always behind my car. like. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to it at first. Like for a whole like week and a half, I didn't. I didn't even peep it. I wasn't paying attention. Like I peep. Like I'd be like, why the fuck is he staring at me? Cause I have a sh like, bro. Look, look. Last year I was really trying to work on my patience, but I have come to the terms that like some people just patience is really fucking short, and I'm one of those people. So like, bitch, like I see this nigga staring at me through my rear view, through my side mirror, like. In my car while I'm on the phone talking to my friend, just like I'm a, just like I'm my phone sitting up here now. I'll be on FaceTime with my friend, just like so. Or fucking um, I'll be goddamn writing a fucking song, bitch, or smoking, minding my fucking business. Okay, um, this guy will be fucking staring at me like a hawk, bitch, through my rear view, through my fucking side mirrors, bitch, making eye contact, like. And when I look, he's already staring type shit. Like, he's staring and I catch him staring. But this nigga don't look away. He stares. Like, we stare. And I'm already fucking heated. Because, like I said, my patience is... <laughs> so, bitch is like... What the fuck is you looking... Bitch, every time. What the fuck is he looking at? Why is he looking at me? What the fuck? Like, bitch, every time, that's my reaction. Because I'm like, why the fuck are you looking at me? Like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I'm minding my fucking business. Okay? That's just, you know, young, high-headed me. Why the fuck are you looking at me? Uh, what are you looking at? Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bitch, no, bitch. It's not even that just simple, bitch. So, I'm, I'm like, I'm starting to notice that this guy is making it a routine to come out to his car and watch me through his car. At first, it was just a coincidence. Like, I would be there and he would come and he would 
park and he will sit in his car for about seven to ten minutes and just kind of watch me then get out when I fucking notice him and go to his apartment but bitch something about yesterday was a fucking off something about yesterday was a fucking off and let me tell you why because bitch okay I started really picking up heavy on it this week and I was just like and I was I've been on FaceTime with my friend cause you know um, Chanel she lives in Atlanta I've been on FaceTime with my friend so I've been like like kind of distracted because I'm talking to her but when I would notice it I would say something like bitch this nigga is staring at me again you know that nigga I told you about yesterday he's staring at me again like she like bitch what like yes girl he didn't came out to his car to fucking stare at me like and she be like no no bitch you like fucking playing bitch this this is going on for like three days in a row three days and a row okay so let me tell you let me tell you so two days before is it undercover so two days before yesterday bitch my baby me and eric so we go um we go visit my grandma um and i'm 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 um doing my makeup i'm doing my makeup doing my hair because we finna go out to eat so um me and eric were sitting in there tell me why this guy he comes downstairs bitch he comes down the stairs with my grandma like so he got out he gets out the elevator with her and she's just like um she come open the door for me, smile, and I'm like, "Hey, grandma, how you doing?" And then the guy, y'all, let me let me describe him. He's like, he's a he's a white old man, bitch. He got gray hair, glasses. He wear veteran um he wear like a veteran hat, and um, but I just seen this veteran hat like today. I didn't even see it the other day. My dad's a vet, like I wouldn't notice that. Okay, but he wears a veteran hat. He had on this khaki trench coat. Ain't that some suspicious shit? Some suspicious shit. Ain't that some suspicious shit? <laughs> bitch, I think that's pretty. Go, bitch! What the fuck are you doing? You fucking slowpoke! Oh my fucking goodness! Hey, I'm sorry. I'm driving. I keep getting off, and I and I know I'm gonna have to edit the fuck out of this because I keep getting fucking distracted. I'm sorry. I love to scream. If you don't like screamers, then you're probably on the wrong channel because I'm a screamer. Like, ah! when I get frustrated, I I express it. Okay. Um, so, bitch, so, he got on this khaki trench coat, right? So, he's looking at me like this. He's like, oh. And he's like, he's close, bitch. He's close. And I'm looking at him like, bitch, I'm all up in his face like, the fuck is you looking at? He's like, oh, this is your granddaughter. And he just stared and looked at me for like a minute. Eric's standing right here. I'm me mugging the fuck out of him. Like, what the fuck is you looking at? The fuck? Bitch, I can't control my expressions. I don't. I don't give a fuck quite frankly so that's that i know eric was like why the fuck is she looking at him like that bitch why and i did not know at the time i did not know this was the old man that was staring at me in the car let me tell you how all this shit wrapped the fuck up grandma told me she was like that that's jack i'm gonna say jack and i was like oh okay so the next day well i'm not gonna say the next day so yesterday i'm out there in my car like i said i was on face out my friend he come he pulls in he sits in his car for his seven minutes. I'm like, all right, bitch, he here, he here. All right. I don't pay no mind because I'm aware of what the fuck he do. Like, I, and I shouldn't be comfortable with this shit, like a routine, but I'm aware of what the fuck he do. Little do I know, he's making it a routine, okay? You guys, like, bitch, you got to stay away from this shit because it won't smack at me until it smack me. Like, bitch, it smack me, like, all in one time. But I was also listening to my intuition. Let me show you guys. Let me tell you guys how this shit fucking played the fuck out because it's crazy, bitch. But like four minutes delayed after me. So he seen me come down, then he came down. He comes sit in his car, bitch. But I didn't know. I was on FaceTime with my friend. I was rolling up. I won't pay no fucking attention. Like, alright, cool, cool. Girl, he's in his car. I look up in my rear view. Just habit, bitch. He's staring at me like a fucking hawk. Like, uh-uh. Why is you staring at me like that? Uh-uh. I'm like, why? Okay, cause now, bitch, now, I, now, now I'm irritated. Now I'm mad because I seen you come home, so you came back out to watch me. So what are you? What the fuck are you? Like, bitch, he was sitting in his car, dressed. Like you came back from doing whatever the fuck you did. You just came back and sat in your car. Like, bitch, I'm the only one that sits in their car in the parking lot. Me, don't nobody else do that shit. He came back, back out. Like I understand when he pull up and he sit in his car and I catch him staring whatever nigga and i shouldn't be comfortable with that but bitch this nigga came back out his apartment to come to his car to sit 
and watch me. Like, I'm watching him watch me, bitch. So, bitch, I'm a, I'm a feisty one. I'm a fiery one. I will tell you that right now. I'm a feisty and I'm a fiery one. My patience is short. Um, bitch, why? I'm on the face of my friend. I'm like, bitch, he out here again. Bitch, he is out here again. He's fucking staring at me like, bitch, I'm looking back at him, turning around in my fucking seat and shit, looking at him like, why the fuck are you staring at me? Why are you staring at me? What the fuck? Like, I'm looking at him fucking crazy. Bitch, I got fed up. I got, I picked up my cup. I had some water. I had some ice in it. I love ice water. I, I love drink with ice. Okay. Um, I get out of my car, bitch, and I sit my drink on my trunk. And I sit and I stand and I stare right at his ass. Like, so now I'm directly in front of his ass and I'm staring at him through his car. And I was like, bitch, he got me fucked up. I'm finna stare at his ass just like he fucking staring at me, making him uncomfortable. So, bitch, I'm staring at this man, right? And he's staring at me back. And then, bitch, I don't give a fuck because at the, at the time, I'm heated. Like, what the fuck do you want with me, sir? I don't even fucking know you. So, what the fuck do you want with me? At this at this point, bitch, I'm thinking he's an undercover cop. Like, why the fuck are you always in your car when I'm in my car trying to smoke my, my business? Like, why the fuck are you always... Why you why you always out here when I'm out here? He ended up, he ended up getting out of his car. Because, look, bitch, he had the windows rolled down. He had the windows rolled down like he was um smoking. He had a cigarette, but it won't lit. I knew that because I didn't smell it. And um, it won't lit. <laughs> and he just kept putting it into his mouth. It won't lit. It was the same height. And I, I thought that was so fucking like suspect because you're trying to look like you're doing something and you're not. And when he got out of his um, when he got out of his car, he had a book. Why my grandma? And bitch, I did not say nothing to my grandma. My grandma don't even know about this guy. Like, keep in mind, two days ago, she the one that she was like, that. Why? I go back up that same day that he came back out there to watch me. I go back to my grandma apartment, and I'm talking to her. We looking out the window and shit, cause she got a really nice view. And she like, yeah, that car right there, that's Jack car. And I was like, what car, grandma? And she was like, the, the silver one next to the burgundy one. And I said, that's Jack car? That like, the Jack that we met in the lobby? And she was like, yeah. I said, grandma, that man watches me every day. And he just came back inside from watching me, from coming out of his apartment to watch me. I said, Grandma, he watches me every day and he gives me a really bad feeling. Fuck. I'm gonna have I have the picture for my safety because this nigga like y'all, I don't I don't never feel no kind of way. Like I always know I can handle my own shit. I always am aware, cautious, like I see shit, but I just feel so caught off guard because I've been going there for such a like pure reason, like to see my grandma. Like that's been my focus. I haven't been thinking about checking my surroundings or who could be after me. Like that's not my my intention wasn't to be cautious when I'm going to see my grandma. So I just felt like my guard was down, and I'm glad when I caught it when I did because when I took that picture of his car, my intuition was itching. Like why does this man come out here every day to fucking watch me? And this day he happens to come back out here to watch me. Like why do that? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so my grandma, I'm telling her that shit, and she like, yeah, she he a child molester. She said that's why you gotta watch out who um you run across in here because they all got different backgrounds. She said he's a child molester. Don't nobody like to talk to him or run into him because he always give them eerie vibes. Like he do what he do. Like so, I'm like, are you serious, grandma? He has been watching me. Like, even when I leave her apartment at night, like around 11 sometimes, like, he 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 be downstairs, he be trying to catch the elevator, be downstairs in the lobby, like, you know you should be fucking asleep. What the fuck, nigga? Like, I'm like, grandma, okay, so he, like, I'm like, grandma, he be watching me. Like, I'm telling my grandma, I'm, I'm making her aware now. And I'm telling her everything, I was like, and that's just stuff you gotta watch out for because I didn't know that. And that's why he was so fascinated with me in the lobby because he finally seen me face to face and I didn't even know who he was. Like y'all, y'all should have seen when he seen me in the lobby. He's like, oh, this is your granddaughter. And he had this fucking like grin. Like, it just does not sit well with me because it's like with predators, sometimes they sit back and watch their prey and they, they kind of pull out on how they're going to have a face-to-face -face interaction with them. And I feel like that shit was set up. Like, he, he, and then she told me also that his apartment is the apartment that faces the parking garage. So, his window stays up and he watches me. He knows my car. He knows when I get there. He knows when I sit there. He knows when I leave. How fucking scary is that? She's just really informing me on him. And, um, 
he also was plotting on my sister, my little sister, Samaya, if y'all remember her. And if y'all seen the videos on my channel, my little sister. She said that when they like was walking there to my grandma's apartment, her and my mom, my grandma, he followed them all the way to my grandma's apartment. And he happens to stay on the same floor as my grandma. And I just think that is so fucking crazy. And my sister called out and was like, he following us. I don't know why he following us. My grandma was like, I'm glad you said that. So he know that we know. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's like, I think my grandma is like really taking it like, she don't, my grandma don't fear nothing. Which I, I always like loved and respected her so much for that because she doesn't fear shit, bitch. Like not a damn thing. But um, it's just like grandma sometimes like be careful because he could like and he's also the racist that's in the building he don't like black people but he like that he's watching us you know what i'm saying like i don't like that and we're females at that like who the who's the fuck to tell them what you fucking did back in the day who is to tell what you what you was on like you know what i'm saying and we around you like who's to tell you was on a black woman raping spree getting rid of black women because you don't fucking like them but you got a fetish for them you know what I'm saying? That is so fucking scary and it's fucked up. So why, um, I'm about to leave, right? Or whatever. My grandma, she's, well, she walking me to the elevator so we can go downstairs. So she can walk me down. Why, bro? Why in the hell do he meet us at the elevator? Because my mom had pulled up downstairs to drop off my packages for my hair. And he knows my mom's car as well. Why the fuck did this nigga meet us at the elevator? Because he already knew we was going to be downstairs. So, bitch, he's been watching to the point he knows our movements. He knows our actions. He knows, like, he know what we do. And I'm not even just saying, like, I'm saying we because he knows my mom's car. He knows what, like, when she pulls up, my grandma comes down. Like, shoot, my mom don't really like to come up. He was going to go down there. He met us at the elevator. He couldn't wait to talk. He asked, did you go to church today? My grandma said, no, I didn't go to church today. He said, um... Uh, Oh, I didn't go to church today either. You know what my church is? And he kept trying. He was describing where it was at. But he didn't. Um, He was describing where it was at. But he didn't know the name of the church. Now, I think that is really funny. And I also think that it is really important. Because this man is trying to say that he's a member of a church as an alibi in a way. That he don't know the name of. Trying to start conversation and be in our face whole time he was talking i did not talk i did not even look at him i was on my phone like i was like i won't pay him no attention like fuck no but while he was talking on the elevator because my grandma was paying attention but she was only watching him because the conversation we just had about this man to walk and see him like that's some crazy shit we talking about this fucking watcher for him to be watching us and come and meet us in the elevator she watching him and she was like i told she was like that's crazy how he came in there to show i'm like, i told you grandma I said, we really got to watch our back for him. She was like, I seen him. I was like, I didn't pay, I didn't look him in the face. I didn't pay him no attention. She said, I seen him cutting his eyes at you. I said, that's creepy, Grandma. And she was like, mm -hmm. I look right at him, see him cutting his eyes at you. And I, th I thought that was really fucking creepy. Fast forward, bitch. I come to my grandma's house this morning. It, ooh, it's 1 one, one o'clock. Angel message. I come to my grandma's house this morning. Why? He's in the lobby while I'm waiting for her to come down and check me in. It is 9 o'clock in the morning. He watched me come and park. I didn't even sit in my car like I usually do. He watched me from his apartment to meet me down in the fucking lobby. Over it, over it. Yeah, y'all. Pretty creeped out, but I have pictures of his license plates. I have pictures of the guy. Like, I, I have a picture of him. He's kind of shady in the picture, like, because his windshield... And he was looking down at while I took the picture, like he knew I was taking a picture, and he didn't want his face to be seen. I think that is also, like, you know, of course, don't nobody want a picture of them or whatever, but he know he was up to no fucking good, bitch. He knew not to look, like, eye-wise into my camera, and he's also a vet. Like, I don't know what he, the fuck he did in his past, but, bro, some people are trained to fucking kill, and I do not fuck with that shit, and they can use that shit to their own sick-ass advantages. I just say this to let you guys know that I have a fucking stalker. I'm letting you guys know I'm safe, protected, but I mean, it's a story to tell you. But also, y'all females, black females, any females, young females, you get an intuition. Trust your intuition, one. You get an off vibe, fucking go with it. Fuck that shit. You get an off vibe, go with that shit. Somebody following you, um, 
or watching you or you pick up on something and you try to rub it off or say you see the same car just happen to be at every location you at or you see it like every day and y'all you don't you don't know the person you pick up on shit like that try to get their license plates do certain stuff or, or tell somebody so just in case something may happen not saying that it will just in case something may happen somebody is aware or know what direction to go in because i've bitch i sit like i watch crime shit on i watch crime shows breakdowns tv shows oh i'm always i've always been like that since i was a little girl like bitch some shit happened to me i can never fucking forget and like it stuck with me and ever since then i've been so fucking cautious like king i, I really feel like I'm I'm aware, I'm gonna catch some shit that's trying to and I'm I'm mad because my my guard was down and usually my guard's not down I would catch I would have caught him staring at me the first fucking time but my guard been down because I've been at my grandma's house but I caught it and I just think it's really important because I was getting so many angel messages like I just kept singing three 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 or two 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 stuff on my clock and I had this gut feeling to look and every time I would look he's there like and then that day bitch it was just something. And I said, let me get a fucking picture of this nigga. He pissed me off. He set me off. I didn't like that shit. And I finally got a fucking picture of him. And when I did, he went back in his room. He had a book. And it won't. It didn't have no title on the book. So I don't know if it's a book or a journal he writes in and maybe document shit in. Y'all have to be fucking careful. Because he could be documenting what the fuck I do in my car when I get there, how I get there, what times I leave, what time I get there to fucking catch up on my routine. You have to be fucking careful. Like, I'm glad I popped up today when I did because it was off time. Like, usually I come around my grandma's house around 5 or 6. But I came around 9. That shit caught him off. But he met me in the lobby. So I know he be up around that time. Y'all have to be careful because I still got to be careful. But I have a man to protect me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm, I'm aware to it now. But just imagine if I wasn't. I leave her house sometimes at 11 o'clock and my car is parked in the back of the parking fucking lot because I be trying to mind my business and be alone. I don't, I don't think nothing of somebody coming up on me where my grandma live. I, I just assume it's safe. And not everywhere is safe. Y'all got to be cautious and be careful because if I did not catch that, it is no telling. I got that man's license plate, his car, and a frame, and fucking, you could see the details of his face, but not his eyes. But, um, and I've told multiple people, so... I mean, just take it from me, y'all, and just try to be careful. And human trafficking and prostitution is really an all-time thing right now. It's really so high because people are getting paid off of this, and people don't care. People want their money, and they are willing to sell a, a, somebody minding their business. They're willing to sell somebody, daughter, niece, give them up for a, a fucking couple thousand dollars, and they be set. It's fucked up, but this is really what the world coming to. And then we got people in the court systems that keep letting niggas off. R. Kelly just got out of fucking jail, and the Patriots fucking owner just got a slap on the wrist for being in a human trafficking charge. Are we really fucking safe? It's really important for you to protect your fucking self, and that's all I'm trying to say. With that being said, guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye, that's Bronskin out. <laughs>